I am back. Okay, guys, I have got this sanded and uh, I got my epoxy filler on there. Now, this stuff is a marine grade epoxy paste, and uh, that's what came out. It was kind of thick, so it was just easier to skim coat the whole thing. And that way I don't have a lot of feathering to do. Okay. Now. If you look down that side. This is kind of completely flat. And right. There. It starts changing. And it's almost. A little bit rounded. So I'm really going to have to be careful sanding that. And not to have flat. And then round right there. And also, when I was sanding, we didn't quite take our fiberglass long enough. There was a couple more little cracks right there, so I had to grind that down. And you can kind of see where I grinded it down. I kind of made it bowl-shaped. And uh, got five layers of 10-ounce cloth in there. And then I'll hit my get my orbital out with 60 grit. And this dries is still a little tacky. I have to wait for tomorrow. And sand it, you know, it'll come out just like that. And uh, actually pretty dang nice. I mean, it really didn't need a whole lot of filling. But uh, this is just a skim coat. This will be like my gel coat. And uh We'll get that big old long crack fixed. And then go all the way through. It was just like in the gel coat. But, uh, and you can't just sand and fill that. Because that crack will come back out first time you take it out in the sun. I've got all these places where we patched in filled. These came out really good. I was kind of worried about these, but uh, sand them, they're going to be ready to prime up. Now, last video, I showed you guys that can of primer. Well, that's just for spot priming. I'm going to come around here and I'm going to spot prime all them and try and get the majority of my body work done before I come in with my spray gun and my uh, primer. But actually... This is pretty good stuff and it sands. Now I'm going to be using the same brand, Transtar Urethane uh, Primer, but I'll get a gallon can of it. And then when I do my majority of my priming. This is just so I can squirt a little primer on it and uh, do all my filling and sanding. And then when I do the whole you know, give the whole thing a coat of a good primer. I won't have too much body work to do. Should be ready to wet sand and paint. And that's the plan anyway. So guys, this ain't that hard. You can do it to your boat. It's just sitting out there right now in the cold. It just so happens my buddy's got a big old garage. He had a race car in it. And we had the boat just over there. And he had his race car right sitting right here. And he said, well, I'll just pull my race car outside so we'll have more room. I said, all right. <laughs> it's just one of them circle burner cars that's sitting out there. But I sure am excited about the boat, but I got some more sanding to do on the bottom. That's the worst. I got this whole side done. I gotta come over this weekend and uh, get the bottom of that side. That's the worst part. You know, see, we got all we built all that cribbing so the jack stands wouldn't be fully extended and wobbly. And we got them railroad ties on the bottom, just in another jack stand up there that ain't actually touching. And then we got cribbing on the nose. So it's as safe as we can get it, and it's pretty solid, I ain't too worried about it, it's just uh, 
you know, working over your head. <laughs> and I've got this whole side to sand. There's a lot of surface right there, but it's going to be worth it. This thing's going to look brand new, and it's only going to cost me about a grand to do all this. And guys, this boat is paid for. You know, and I want that new shiny boat, but I don't want to go out and pay no fifteen, twenty thousand dollars for one and have a payment forever. This bad boy is paid for, and it's going to look pretty, and uh, I'll be able to take it. I'll be able to afford to take it out because I ain't got no boat payment. So fix up that old boat, and uh, Mom would be a lot happier. But I'll make you guys another video once we get a little more work done and I'm gonna show you how to put a nice old paint job on a boat and we're gonna lay some new rug and I'll show you guys how to do upholstery work it ain't that hard you can do it and uh, you can get them upholstery machines on eBay used for about 150 bucks I got an estimate on the poster in that seat it's just a long bent seat. It's in uh, two sections. One of a thousand dollars. I'm gonna do it for about two fifty. And <laughs> I'm gonna buy me a sewing machine. And I'm gonna buy me some pleather, baby. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it myself. But uh, that's all I got for you now. I'll make you guys another video and show you what's up on my 1989 Gambler.